Many of us think that the gut is just for food digestion. Well, believe me that it does much more than that. Just wait to see. Oh, yeah. In fact, the gut is referred to as your second brain. Why? Because it has its own division of nervous system called the enteric nervous system that has a complex biochemical signaling with the brain. This communication is called gut-brain axis and interestingly is highly affected by the gut microbiome. At one to two years after the birth, your gut microbiota is established with more than a thousand species of bacteria. Yay! Oh God! You might get surprised by knowing that these gut bacteria vastly contribute to the development of the brain, starting from the birth. The chemicals released by these bacteria can regulate your brain chemistry and influence your mental health, stress response, anxiety, memory function, and even your personality. So, how can those chemical substances made by gut bacteria reach your brain? Well, there are three main routes. First, after being released by the gut bacteria, these substances can get into the bloodstream to reach the brain. As the second route, bacterial signaling molecules are transferred to the brain through the nerves connecting the enteric and central nervous systems. In the third route, the gut bacteria stimulate the immune system cells in the wall of the gut, causing the immune cells to release hormones such as cytokines that are transferred to the brain through the bloodstream. An example of these chemicals are short-chain fatty acids that are released by some gut bacteria such as Ockermansia. Oh my god! The intestinal microbiome can then divert these products to your brain. Once the chemicals arrive in the brain, they can impact several metabolic processes as well as promoting neurotransmission in the brain, enhancing your memory and learning. The gut bacteria may even influence your emotions and cognitive capabilities. For example, some bacteria can release oxytocin, the so-called love hormone, which is a natural hormone that your body also makes in the hypothalamus. This hormone positively affects the aspects of your social behavior, leading to relaxation, stress reduction, trust to others, and gaining overall psychological stability. Our vulnerability to several brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and autism have been shown to be affected by gut bacteria. For example, some gut bacteria such as the sulfur vibrio contribute to the formation of synuclein. <laughs> which is a substance found in the brains of people with Parkinson's disease. The diversity of the gut bacteria highly depends on your diet. This means that your brain and mental health highly depends on the food that you eat. That's why, to treat some of the brain diseases, some specific diets are issued to alter the gut microbiome in a way that is beneficial for the brain. For instance, a ketogenic diet that is high in fat, moderate in protein, and very low in carbohydrates is known to be effective in improving epilepsy in children, a disorder of the brain characterized by repeated seizures. Before making this video, I didn't know that my gut has such a big and critical role in my well-being, personality, memory, and learning. So, I would try to keep it healthy by eating good food that promotes the colonization of beneficial bacteria there. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video